Assalamualaikum everyone. Let's discuss some exercises for chapter number one, corporate financial reporting. And uh, this is about introduction to three basic financial statements. And I have one exercise uh, to solve with you. Um, this is understanding the relationship between different items of the balance sheet. So this is Tora Inso is a large pulp and paper company headquartered in Finland. The company uses IFRS and reports its results in million of euros. Compute the missing balance sheet amounts for each of the three years. So if you see here, we have three years with us. We have 2019, we have 2010, and we have 2011. Uh, some the question marks are the missing facts and figures which we need to create and they have given us some hint They said point number a that uh, Net income for 2010. This is 2010. So the net income into 2010 is 766 euros and the dividend is 158 and there is another hint that says point number B. Where is B? This is B, right? They say that the current assets minus current liabilities are equal to euro 1,144. Uh, 1, so these two hints they have given us and they want us to complete this uh, balance sheet over here. So to discuss these things with you, I have already transferred the stuff in this Excel sheet because it will be easy for me to explain it. Um, this is actually the solved one, but this is what how the empty questions looks like. So uh, if you see over here, I have three years, 2009, 2010 and 2011. This is the hint for B and this is the hint for A. I just put the comments for myself so that I remember. Okay, let's solve it out. Point number A, this is A. It says that net income for 2010 is 766 and dividends are 158. We all know that the opening balance, opening retained earnings, when we add net income into it and we deduct dividends out of it, we get our ending balance of retained earnings and balance sheet always shows the ending balances right so if you see over here the hint is for this place which is point number a so this is what this is retained earning if you see retained earnings for 2010 so let's calculate the retained earnings for 2010 what is the opening retained earning 2009 retained earning will be the opening retained earning for 2010 so i'm putting the formula over here is equal to 2009 retained earning which is 1200 in your calculators you can write 1200 then plus net net income so net income they gave us as 766 look at the note number one note number a so i'm writing here 766 minus dividend dividend is given as 158 and i'm going to press enter so i got my retained earnings for 2010 moving on towards point number b point number b says that current assets minus current liabilities are equal to 1144 this is what is uh, the place where which is the hint place for this this formula is for this place right uh, so uh, this is what this is current assets so they gave me the full figure they said current assets minus current liabilities are equal to 1144 now I need it means uh, at least one figure should be known so that I can uh, simplify this expression so let's look at this is 2009 do we have current liabilities yes we have right see this is current liability 2619 so I am going to use this over here uh, how I will write uh, firstly, let me just show you in simplified form. Current assets minus current liabilities. What is the amount for current liabilities? 2,619 is equal to 1,144. So same formula. If I simplify for the calculation of current assets, 
that will be equal to 1144 and now this minus 2619 will become plus on the other side of equation so I'll be changing the sign to plus right this what I'm going to write over here now is equal to current uh, liabilities 2619 plus the answer which they already gave me 1144 so this is my current assets okay so i use the hint now i need to complete this statement uh complete as you like like if you see over here this is total asset total asset is given i know both sides of balance sheet are equal so if the total assets are 11593 then the total liabilities and equity should be the same right so is equal to this because the balance sheet both sides are always same this is also done now i need uh, the share capital for 2009 I put I picked 2009 first to complete it okay share capital I have total shareholders equity given I have uh, retained earnings given so total shareholder equity total equity is equal to share capital plus retained earnings right so I have total equity I have retained earnings I can calculate the share capital so I'll be bringing the retained earnings to the other side of equation how I'll be doing that total equity minus retained earnings equal to share capital you know mathematics equation mathematical equations I'm just simplifying the equations so here is equal to total shareholders equity which is 5183 this one minus my retained earnings I get my share capital done now moving on towards uh, non-current assets I have current assets I have total assets so total assets are equal to I'm writing for you over here total assets are equal to current assets plus non-current assets right so i have total assets i have current assets so if i deduct the current assets out of total asset rest is non-current asset so is equal to total assets minus current assets i get my non-current assets now i need total liabilities so um, for total liabilities i need current and non-current liabilities I have current liabilities but I don't have known current liabilities and two things are missing now total liabilities and non current liabilities so if you see over here I have in this 2019 total liabilities and shareholders equity and I also have shareholders equity so if I minus shareholders equity from this 11,593 rest is total liabilities so let's use this formula is equal to total liabilities and shareholders equity minus shareholders equity so I get my total liabilities now it's very easy to calculate non current liabilities that is total liabilities minus current liabilities you get non current liabilities so this is how I felt the missing information for 2009 we can also do the same for 2010 but just try to recall the basic equations so if you see here current and non-current assets are given so when I add them I get my total assets is equal to this plus non-current assets total assets total assets are equal to total liabilities and shareholders equity right so they are the same I have uh, share capital and retained earnings so I can calculate total shareholders equity so is equal to share capital plus retained earnings right so I get my total shareholders equity now I uh, exactly what I did in 2019 I have total liabilities and shareholders equity I have shareholders equity so if I minus it from total I'll get my total liabilities so is equal to total of liability and equity minus total equity so this is my total liabilities and now I have total liabilities and I also have current liabilities so I get my non-current liabilities moving on towards 2011 I have total equity and liability so that is exactly what I will have in the total asset side so I just copied it um, 
I know share capital and retain earning make a total to get your total equity. So this plus retain earnings you get your equity. Now you need uh, non current assets. So how do you calculate non current assets? Total assets minus current assets you get your non current assets. Now you need total liabilities. So you have total liabilities and equity. You have equity. So just minus them to get the liabilities. This is total liability and equity minus this is total equity. So you get your total liabilities. So this is how you need to complete the missing components. And you can do that if you remember the basic of, you know, um, uh, balance sheet structure in your mind. So what is the basic balance sheet structure? Current assets plus non-current assets equal to total assets. Then current liabilities plus non-current liabilities equals to total liabilities. Then um, total assets equals to total liabilities plus uh, total liabilities and shareholder equity shareholder equity is equal to share capital uh, plus retained earnings then uh, what else we have um, yes and then these are the simple equations. just keep on playing with them whatever is missing you can find out that missing factor and the hints always help you in calculating so always use the hint first then complete the rest structure this is it about the exercise from chapter number one so i hope you understand it if something is confusing you please write in the comment section and discuss with me in the class as well take care everyone bye